Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I'm going to describe how you can calculate the day of the week for any date until the year 2099. I'll briefly mention the easiest way you can do this on a computer is to use a website like Wolfram Alpha. You simply type in the date and it will tell you which day of the week you get. But in this video, we're going to focus on how you can mentally calculate the day of the week when you're given a date. We're going to explain the doomsday rule, which was come up by the mathematician John Conway. So an example of how you can use the doomsday rule is that January 1st this year will be a Thursday. When will Christmas Day be? When someone asks you the question, you'll instantly be able to answer that it's Friday. So let's explain how you can use this rule. There are certain days in the year that will fall on the same day and John Conway calls this the doomsday. So he noticed a pattern that in every year, the dates 4 4 6 6 8 8 10 10 and 12 12 will always fall on the same day of the week. And these were chosen because they're easy to remember. It will also be the case that 5 9 7 11 9 5 and 11 7 will also fall on the same day. You might remember this by saying, I work 9 to 5 at the store 7-Eleven. The date March 14th will also be on the same day, as will the last day of February. The last day in February will either be 228 or 229 in a leap year. And the 3rd of January or the 4th of January in a leap year will also be on the same day. So all of these dates will fall on the same day in a calendar year. So how is this useful? Well, let's take a look at 2015. The doomsday will be a Saturday. January 3rd will happen on a Saturday. So we can find every other date in the year relative to the doomsday. So let's see how this works. So let's try and figure out when will July 4th of 2015 be. The first step is we look for the closest day in our list of memorable dates. So that will be July 11th, which is a Saturday. So July 4th will be one week before that. We know that if it's one week before, it will also be the same day. And therefore, July 4th will also be a Saturday. Let's do another example. Let's try and figure out when Christmas of 2015 will be. The closest memorable date is 12-12, which we know falls on a Saturday. The 25th is 13 days later, which is one week and six days later. Mathematically, if you're good at this kind of stuff, you can think about this as using modulo arithmetic. You can subtract the dates and reduce them modulo seven. But basically, since we know 25th is one week and six days later, we know that December 25th will be a Friday. So one thing is this all depends on knowing the doomsday for a year. In 2015, we know it's on a Saturday, but how can you figure it out for any year? I'm just going to show you some formulas. We covered this in the last video. There's actually a way you can figure out the day that the new year falls on based on this simple formula. And you can figure out the doomsday just by adding a couple of days. So if you know which day the new year falls on, you can add two days to get January 3rd. Or in a leap year, you can add three days to get January 4th. So let's do an example. Let's try and figure out when July 27th of 2007 was. That was the first post I put on the Mind Your Decisions blog. So the first step is to figure out the day that the new year fell on. So we'll use our formula. We do negative one plus seven plus seven over four rounded up, which is two. This ends up being a Monday. So now we know that the doomsday, which is January 3rd, happened to be on a Wednesday because that's two days later. The closest day to July 27th of our memorable dates is 7-11. July 27th happens two weeks and two days after, so we have an offset of two days. And therefore we can conclude July 27th, 2007 was a Friday. So with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to use this doomsday rule to figure out any date from now until 2099 very easily. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can support me on Patreon.
catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, and you can get my books listed on my website.